India has emerged as a pivotal player in the global defense arena, with invitations pouring in from leading military powers to collaborate on next-generation fighter jet programs. It is reported that Germany and Spain have extended an offer for India to join their future combat air system, FCAS, a flagship European project aimed at developing cutting-edge sixth-generation combat aircraft. Simultaneously, the UK-Japan Italy Consortium has invited India to participate in the Global Combat Air Program, GCAP, which aspires to revolutionize aerial warfare through advanced technology and strategic partnerships. These proposals highlight India's growing reputation as a vital strategic partner. However, they also place New Delhi at a crossroads. India is heavily invested in its Indigenous Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, program, a 5.5-generation fighter project that seeks to propel the nation toward technological independence in aerial combat systems. While aligning with either FCAS or GCAP could offer India unparalleled access to next-generation technologies, it risks diverting focus and resources from AMCA, a program deeply tied to India's defense ambitions. According to local media sources, India intends to reject both proposals and develop its own AMCA project. The Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft represents India's boldest attempt yet to establish itself as a leader in defense technology. Designed by the Defense Research and Development Organization and the Indian Air Force, AMCA aims to be much more than a conventional fifth-generation fighter. With its blend of stealth, advanced avionics, and supersonic cruise capabilities, AMCA is positioned as a transitional platform bridging the gap between 5th and 6th generation technologies. The AMCA's design philosophy prioritizes low radar observability through a combination of composite materials, geometric stealth, and radar absorbing coatings. It is also set to feature artificial intelligence, AI, enabled mission support, granting pilots enhanced decision making capabilities in high stakes environments. Advanced sensors will ensure unparalleled situational awareness, while provisions for directed energy weapons will enable India to prepare for future combat scenarios. India plans to roll out the first operational AMCA units by 2035, with a timeline that anticipates further evolution toward a fully-fledged sixth-generation fighter by 2040. This incremental approach underscores India's commitment to both self-reliance and technological evolution. The Future Combat Air System, a collaboration between Germany, France, and Spain, aims to redefine air superiority by developing an ecosystem of manned and unmanned platforms. Central to FCAS is its next-generation weapon system, which integrates a sixth-generation fighter jet with autonomous drones and network-centric warfare capabilities. FCASA's vision includes features like adaptive stealth, modular weapon systems, and advanced AI for real-time data fusion. Additionally, its emphasis on interoperability across NATO forces presents a compelling case for India to align with European defense priorities. For India, joining FCAS could mean access to European aerospace expertise and a direct pathway to state-of-the-art technologies. However, FCASA's high cost and the need for shared decision-making among participating nations may conflict with India's desire for strategic autonomy. The Global Combat Air Program, spearheaded by the UK, Japan, and Italy, seeks to develop a sixth-generation fighter by 2035. Unlike FCAS, GCAP places a stronger emphasis on operational flexibility and rapid deployment, reflecting its consortium's diverse geopolitical priorities. CAPS Fighter is expected to feature AI-assisted mission management, next-generation stealth, and advanced directed energy weapons. Additionally, GCAP emphasizes integration with unmanned systems, potentially reshaping the nature of air combat. For India, the Indo-Pacific focus of GCAP offers alignment with key regional allies and opportunities for defense cooperation in a strategically critical region. However, as with FCAS, India would need to reconcile its participation in GCAP with its commitment to AMCA, a program that symbolizes its ambition for defense self-reliance. India's interest in these global programs reflects its recognition of the rapid pace of technological advancements in aerial warfare. Yet, the challenges of balancing international collaboration with indigenous development are significant. 
aligning with FCAS or GCAP, could accelerate India's access to sixth-generation technologies and enhance its geopolitical standing. However, such partnerships might also require India to share sensitive data, compromise on key decisions, or shift resources away from the AMCA program. Meanwhile, AMCA remains at the core of India's defense strategy. As a platform, it promises not only to modernize India's air force, but also to serve as a stepping stone for developing a fully indigenous sixth-generation fighter. DRDO and IAF are steadfast in their commitment to AMCA, viewing it as a means to foster domestic innovation and reduce dependence on foreign suppliers. At the same time, the global defense landscape is evolving rapidly. Nations like the United States, China, and Russia are making significant strides toward operational sixth-generation systems. For India, remaining isolated from these international efforts risks falling behind in a domain where technological superiority is paramount. India's decision-making process will likely hinge on a delicate balance of priorities. Collaborating with FCAS or GCAP could bolster its technological edge and geopolitical alliances while focusing solely on AMCA which would reinforce its aspirations for self-reliance. Each path carries risks and rewards, but the stakes are extraordinarily high. By 2040, the global air combat landscape will likely be dominated by sixth-generation platforms. India's ability to navigate these competing opportunities will determine not only its place in this new paradigm, but also its broader role in shaping the global balance of power. Whether it chooses partnership or self-reliance, India's path forward will define the future of its air force and its influence on the global stage. Thanks for watching.